Hi, welcome to the 47th Hammer Tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at something a little different that a lot of people have requested. We're going to be adding sprites onto our world spawn. And if you don't know what those are, I'll show you what I have in my forest map here. Come over here onto the grass, it's these little sprites on the grass that act as, well, almost 3D grass, but they still remain 2D. So they're very cheap to draw and you'll see that they always face you. This is a very easy way to make your map looking to make your map look a lot more convincing when it comes down to foliage. So these are really 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 nice to have. You also will see these appear in CS Militia. But these are a bit different than the ones that we saw in my map. These ones in fact are swaying in the wind and they don't always face you you'll see that they're almost set up like a triangle. There's different parameters that you can give each sprite. Um, we won't be covering those, but I'll give you a link to a webpage where you can learn more about this if you really want to create your own. But I'm going to give you a list of a whole bunch of detail sprites that you can add in your own map. As you see here, this one doesn't face you, but in fact it has three of them that kind of form a 3D plant, almost. If you really spend a lot of time looking at these, you'll find that they don't look very good. But spread out like this, they look, they look very effective in the map. Because just walking through here, you just see, wow, there's grass on the ground. It must take a long time to place. But actually, in reality, the VBSP process, so the first part of your compile process, adds these in automatically as long as you tell it to. So pretty much and that's what we're going to go over in this tutorial so the first thing you want you're going to want to do is go to my website so you can download the sprites and detail pack so you just want to go to downloads and content and then detail vbsp pack Then once downloaded, it's a relatively small file. You're just going to want to drag that onto your desktop and go to your Counter-Strike directory or whatever game directory you want, and you'll see it's located in C-Strike. Now, let me explain a little bit about this. Inside, you'll see files called detail.vbsp. For organization's sake, the one labeled detail.vbsp is the default one to Counter-Strike. I just added it in here so you can easily see what they look like. The ones detail 2 Fort and Dust Bowl, these are from Team Fortress 2. And at the bottom, this is just Team Fortress in general, and then Day Defeat, Episode 2, and Left 4 Dead. And in Materials, Detail, we have all the detail sprites. So a little bit about these, this is the default detail sprite that is used by Counter-Strike. Now, as you probably remember seeing, you'll probably you probably remember seeing some of these inside CS Militia when we looked at them, and you'll recognize them like this with the alpha mask on. So this is basically what it looks like. So with looking at this, you should be able to get a general idea of what this uh, is going to look like. And if you open up the two fort one, it it looks kind of cartoony, keeping with the theme of Team Fortress. And in episode 2, we have some foresty type ones. And we have a couple from Left 4 Dead. We have Overgrown, which is the one that I used in my map. And Rural Detail Sprites. So basically, you have a ton of choices for what you want on your detail sprites. You just gotta pick one, follow through. So, the easiest way to do this now is, like I said, open up C Strike Directory and copy these bad boys in then once they're in your map you want to open hammer then load up your map now we're not really going to be doing much in hammer we're actually going to focus on ma the materials aspect so pretty much what you're going to want to do is find a material that you want typically you're going to use grass with this because that's what it looks best with so just find a grass material. If you have a custom one, the better, but I'll show you both ways. Let's say you have a custom one right here. You apply this. 
Now this is applied to the ground, and we have to tell it to use our detail that BBSP from inside the VMT. So if it's a custom texture, click open source. Now if it's a stock texture to Counter Strike or whatever game you're doing this for, you will need to open up the GCF containing the materials and locate the VMT and create your own VMT. So inside the VMT now, you want to do quotation, percentile, detail type, close quotation, and then open quotation again. Then you want to go to your C strike directory. And this is where you needed to pick a detail type texture. So I'm just going to pick detail sprites. Uh, I'm just going to pick the Left 4 Dead overgrown ones. So you just copy its name really quick. And in your map on Hammer, you want to go to Map map properties and you need to tell it what detail what detail material file and then it needs to be detail slash and then the material name now we need to use the corresponding detail that vbsp file so since this is a left for dead one we need to go to our c strike folder and locate the correct detail that vbsp so this would be the l4d2 that vbsp you just copy that and you paste it here. There's L4D2 detail that VBSP. Click apply. You minimize that. And now we want to locate what type of detail we want. So you're going to want to open this with a text editor. I use Notepad. Now, in here you'll see detail on the very first line. And it's pretty much broken down into this is the detail name. And there's groups one, groups and models, and it's pretty much after you poke around in here, you'll start to understand how it works. But I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and here we go. Urban grass overgrown. If you see here, it says set detail material to detail sprites overgrown. So just make sure that you're using the overgrown detail texture here, which is the Left 4 Dead 2 detail sprites overgrown. It's a bit confusing, but it's worth it. And since we're using that, this is the name. So we copy that. And here's a little bit about this. Group 1. Alpha. This is dark dirt. So if if it's a displacement, if you have the alpha fade or blend into two different textures, it won't put it on one. And then group 2. There is more alpha parameters. And under group 3, this is where it starts to add all of your items. See, if the alpha is set to 1, or the first material, it won't display any sprites on it. If it's 0.9, it won't display any sprites. If it's 0.1 or less, it will display sprites. So under here, you'll see model 1, slash, slash, long grass. They're pretty good. Valve has been pretty good at leaving comments about what each model is. So you can get a little explanation about what you're looking for. So now, under percentile detail type, you just want to paste that in here, and close quotation, close, close, and then also, don't forget that anything that you want a detail that VBSP to display on needs to be a displacement, so you have to click create displacement here, and of course, with the grass, you should probably add a little height to it, make it look bumpy. Because that's how grass, that's how grass usually looks. And then you have to put, of course, to seal your map. Typically, a no draw texture underneath to keep the map sealed from leaks. So now I'm going to actually compile this, and then I will see you in Counter Strike. Now we're in game. And when we join the team, we'll see that we have sprites on the ground now. And they're the ones that Valve has stock made for us. But now that you know how you can add them, you can 
easily add any ones that have been pre-made for you. I currently don't know how to create my own sprite that VBSP and detail sprites, so don't even ask me to explain it. But anyways, to this extent, I find this very useful. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.